Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kaylin from White Glove Models and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing review of the Puro Auburn Speedster. Been waiting to do um, a review on this kit for a very long time. I purchased this one uh, again. I think it was on eBay. I don't remember what I paid for it. Um, it was less than uh, twenty bucks, I believe. But I'm very excited to own this kit and uh, more excited to open it up and build it. So we will be checking out what's inside today. A little bit of history on this particular kit was um, this uh, particular mold. Uh, was the original mold, from my understanding, um, came out in around uh, 1957, I believe. And this particular box was produced in 1967, so 10 years after the original release, and it was a new box only, so the original mold, but with a new box. And uh, just uh, more on this, it's a 125th scale and they call it the classic car model and i don't know let me check here and see if i can find out it is the 1935 auburn speedster and that is according to scalemates.com so there we have it let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside so here it is still in the original plastic and again, I don't uh, know for sure, but my understanding is this was packaged up in the uh, in 1967. So I don't really know how true that is, but we will see. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look inside. All right, guys, so this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna go ahead and slide off the lid here and we'll see for the very first time what is inside the box? Oh wow, look at that. That is a lot of red, <laughs> my friends. Check that out. Let's show you guys here. Very, very red. <laughs> so I um, am not really familiar with these kits. Uh, so some of you might know a bit more. On this one, we obviously have a few more pieces um, are broken off. These look like they uh, might be the fenders. So very, very interesting uh, detail. You know, these were these were older molds from my understanding. Um, so I will have to do a bit of research on what bits and pieces are supposed to be there and what aren't. But you know what? Um, that looks like a pretty impressive mold to me, so we'll put that off to the side. And here it looks like we've got some of the chassis. It's always interesting when you get these older kits too, um, you know, just how much detail is actually going to be in it because some of them were produced by the vehicle manufacturers and they were meant to, you know, go to dealerships and things like that and they would hand them out to kids or sell them you know so when your your mom or dad bought a vehicle um, you as a child could go home and build and have the same vehicle that your parents just purchased so a lot of really interesting nostalgia from some of these kits back in the day this one i i'm not too familiar with the history on it but I'm very, very excited to uh, put this one together. So a lot of good detail so far. Uh, very interesting mold, I will say that. And oh, we've got a broken bit right there. Uh, so that will be, it looks like that should be easily fixed. Unless that's supposed to be separated on purpose. I don't know. I don't think it was. Um, this plastic is also probably very brittle, so I will be very careful uh, when I do go to put it together. Here we have, and I'm almost wondering if I just broke that on accident. 
And I'm also kind of wondering if maybe I broke that on accident taking it out of the box because the, uh, the piece might be lying around here somewhere. Here we go with another sprue. And these are not labeled, I don't believe. No, the sprues aren't labeled. There's no numbers on them. Um, you know, but I wasn't expecting a lot. There's some flash here, which is fine. Easily, easily cleaned up. And then you've got the, uh, it looks like the main body of the Speedster, which is pretty cool looking. So I do say this will be a fun one to build, my friends. Let's see what else is in the box. We've got, we've got another fender here that came off of the sprue. Looking pretty good. Um, I am going to be very careful with these parts because they do feel very brittle. Then we have the chrome, which overall for being, uh, you know, back in the late 60s, early 70s, doesn't look too bad at all. here and that is interesting the inside of the lights there's no chrome in them but uh, it actually kind of looks cool that way some of it looks um, aged over time so oh and then you can definitely tell that uh, I don't know if that is supposed to be like that or not I'll have to do some research but you can tell where the chrome didn't get. Some of the parts have yellowed, um, which is completely understanding. I mean, this has been sitting on a shelf somewhere for eons. And I'm gonna save the destructions for last. And I wanna pull these bits out. More chrome. This chrome sheet looks really nice. But I might, what I might do too, I don't know, I'm worried about if I try to remove the chrome on this kit that uh, because the plastic is so old and could possibly disintegrate, that I may just leave the chrome on there and build it as is. Uh, I say that now, but I can also maybe scuff it up a bit and sand it down and, uh, and try to use a, a different chrome product on it. But... I don't want to, you know, damage any of this plastic because it is so old. So here we have the windows, which slight bit of yellow to them. Check, take a look at that. The 501. Definitely the 501, but the Auburn also looks like that was hand etched onto this plastic. So most of this plastic uh, looks it's a little bit yellowed and these windows are scratched up, which is understandable. Um, I'll try to clean them up as best as I can. Again, most likely this build is just going to end up being straight out of the box. There's, I don't know what this piece is. I will find out. Um, good looking uh, part there. And then we've got the radiator. Doesn't look too bad. A lot of good detail in that. And there are parts all over. These tires, I, I am most likely going to have to go with maybe a different tire so check this out you guys can't feel this but these two tires super hard and well th this one's harder than this one but um, very hard and stiff and then these two tires super squishy <laughs> I don't really I don't really know why that is but uh, we'll clean these up and see how they look on said vehicle they are very shiny which you know that that can easily be taken care of these are I believe they are actually molded out of rubber so there's your four tires that come with the kit and then we've got a bunch of loose pieces here so pull these out and take a look at them no idea what that is 
but it's uh, it might be a foot pedal. I don't know. And what else do we got floating around here? I'm just gonna dump this out onto the table. And this little guy. At first I thought maybe this was a hair or something, but it appears to actually be a piece of fiber, like a thread. So I'm not too sure if that's actually supposed to be in the kit. I will find out when I look at the instructions. Here's another one of those little doohickeys just like the, uh, the one over here. We've got a piece of flash here which can go in the garbage. And then it looks like just a piece of sprue here. I'm not entirely sure. That could be a part, you never know. So I will hang on to this one just in case. I'm going to lay all this out for you guys and then we'll take a look at the instructions here. I'm going to try to do this on the top camera as best as I can um, so you guys can see it better. I'm going to open it up carefully, make sure nothing comes flying out of it. Now I don't think there are any, um, yeah, there's no decals or decals for this, but uh, very interesting instructions um, on this particular kit. But yeah, here's the back page of the instructions and the front. So here you've got some information on the actual vehicle. And it's a beautiful car, very, very beautiful car. And I've seen a lot of these built and um, have been very impressed with um, with what I've seen. So uh, let's see if I can show you guys here on this camera. Um, there's bits for the motor and painting it. And it kind of looks like that's actually one of the last things that you do. Not entirely sure. But I don't see that thread that we found in the kit. I, whether that's a thread or if it's even supposed to be in there, I have no idea. Um, so that looks like the final instructions. And then on this page, yes, so we have, so the, on the back of it's kind of where you're going to start. And I'm gonna kind of go through these so you guys can see all of it as best as I can. and steering wheel and dashboard assembly. I am kind of suspicious. Here's the final step is the motor. They talk about painting it and all that. Um, I am kind of suspicious that I might be missing a part. And I'll show you guys here real quick what, I, what I'm thinking is, because I don't see it anywhere around this, this little uh, spring. I think the other spring is missing. I don't see it anywhere else or where it could have even gone, which is, is very interesting. So let's take a look at these real quick again. And so let's see, that's going to be on this page. Very, very interesting. So as you can see, right here so this was okay guys so this is where this is really bizarre because this was a sealed kit um, again I wasn't sure if that was the original packaging or whatnot but here on the rear differential and axle it has both of the leaf springs mine <clears throat> 
is missing that leaf spring altogether where this little part was and it looks like a very clean oh just popped it off but it looks like a very clean cut so I am very uh, confused <laughs> so I'm actually really confused by that because if this was all originally packaged and all that then where is the other leaf spring that should be in the box and I don't see it so not really sure what's going on with that um, that is something I may have to um, have a friend uh, 3d print for me so it might be asking uh, Devil Dog Games Miguel if he could possibly I might have to ship this to him so he can get the right measurements and see if he can print that out for me or or uh, something cuz yeah I don't that is really bizarre guys not too sure what's happening with that but there you go this is the kit all laid out for you guys this was everything uh, that was in the box including the destruction booklet and overall uh, pretty impressed with um, some of the mold and details on that this will be a truly interesting kit to put together and I say interesting because uh, well for one I'm I think I'm missing that one leaf spring which was a little bizarre and also I've never worked with um, plastic this old so we will see what happens uh, when we go to put it together I think what I am gonna do and I say this every time and I end up not doing it, but I think what I'm going to do is actually uh, build this one out of the box with uh, no, no real uh, modifications to it. The only other, the only real modification I would have to do is, is see if I can get Miguel to print a uh, leaf spring for me to put it back in there. He might have to do the whole uh, rear diff and leaf spring for me, so we'll see. And you guys will get to see all of this build on the channel at some point. I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon, I don't believe. Um, but once I do start building it, you guys will uh, see it up on the channel. Well, there you go, guys. That was the unboxing of the Auburn Speeder by Puro. And uh, I'm not... <laughs> I don't know how to say this the, you know, the right way, but I'm not as thrilled about this one as I was the Grand Prix, the Bugatti Grand Prix. And a couple of reasons why I'm saying that is for one, that, that part that, uh, it, it literally looks like it was snipped off. And then, um, the, the wrapping on this one was a bit different, which might mean something might not, maybe it was resealed. Uh, I don't know, you know, for it being sealed, I don't know where that part would have gone. It should have been in the box. Um, I almost wonder if maybe it had been removed and then this was sold, uh, you know, as a as a possibly incomplete kit or something, or maybe somebody opened it up, took that piece because they needed it. I, I don't know. Uh, very, very interesting, but it is a, a really neat looking kit. And I do look forward to putting it together and seeing how it looks once it's all put together. So anyways, that's what's inside the box. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any great new content coming to the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.